Mm, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria and in this episode we are continuing to smash into the Mughal Empire. Um, some forces have wandered within our range and we are going to intercept them and force them to attack us and destroy a number of Mughal units. So let's take them on. I, I imagine we've got plenty more battles to fight, especially this turn. Well, for the next few episodes actually, they're going to be very, very rich in uh, slaughter. <laughs> We're going to need to, we need to keep bashing through our front lines to force them to draw troops away from the rest of their empire. And then when we land in the south, particularly the likes of our cart, then that will really start to just kick the legs out of, the, out of underneath them in terms of their economy. And we were already starting to do that on the front line. Things are some, I think bizarrely things are kind of getting better for them because we are slaughtering all their armies. Uh, it makes it easier from a sustainment perspective. But in general, this is a situation they would rather not have happen. So, let's deploy a bit conventionally because we are expecting reinforcements. I don't quite know where they're going to come from. May deploy one set of guns on the hill behind me, just to fire over our line. So I've got two units of line between each, between two sets of guns. And a set of two infantry on the flank, which means I've got a handy contingent ready to deploy, depending on where the reinforcements are coming from. My Chevaux Leger are going to be combined. Fire at will off. My bountiful artillery or how it's a contingent is going to be ready to fire. Okay, so they're coming in from directly behind them, so let's take my line. Expand it a little bit. Deploy on the flanks. I'm not going to be in a rush. I'm going to deploy, deploy on the flanks. It looks like, well, the, the enemy, well, actually, okay, they're running, so we are going to run too. So this gun team to the rear can engage in counter battery. They're beginning to shrapnel us. So let's begin to shrapnel them. I guess one of my howitzers to focus on their artillery. Get my Chevaux Leger out on the flank at speed. The dervishes have gone. So the Ahadi are charging in. Good cavalry, good armoured cavalry, but they have I mean, they've taken a real hammering from our artillery and our musketry just broke their back. Got Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Oh, good quick climb hit right there. Yeah, that just obliterated that push on the on the right flank. Blast the Kizilbashi. How's their artillery doing? Down to 11 crew. Bowmen are still standing. As it is, our men, including our Cairo infantry guards, they're going to push them back, no trouble. Fire into the backs of the camels. Yeah, they're getting hit. Let's maybe make you guys hit them. Actually, no, shrapnel is better. Oh, the camels took the, the camels took the hits for this unit of the bashing musketeers. Who are you, dervishes? Yeah, let my Chevaux Leger engage them. Pivot them though to make sure they're both facing the correct direction. General's bodyguard is sniping us in range. Let's push our line up a little bit. Begin to target the reinforcements coming in. The enemy artillery is dead. So the gun team up on the hill. 
retarget, attack the general's bodyguard. So you men will be able to engage this general's bodyguard. That's one elephant down. Oh, your comrades are dying. Oh, look at his pistol. He's got his pistol out. Oh, got him. Will we get the last one? They will escape. You guys aren't even... You guys don't have to even turn fire on for you guys. Go on, Shiver there. Blast them! Alright, it's enough of this tomfoolery. Ooh, look at my artillery sniping the uh, general's bodyguard all the way back here. Glory of advanced artillery. It's so beautiful. Let's advance down the hill. Right on their flank. Retarget our guns. Oh, my infantry are tired after the fighting, but they're ready. They're ready to do it all again. Some of the shots, if they miss, they'll hit that unit behind them. There goes that unit. Excellent. Just push up. They don't really have any cavalry that can stop us, so let's just send my cavalry in to begin to pursue and destroy. Very much in our interest to kill entire units if possible. Okay, all my artillery switched to round shot. We're doing enough damage. Artillery engage the enemy elephants at range. Sea warriors are the only ones that are within. They're in a position to do up to no good. Let's bring my general across. Shaken another volley. Third volley from the fourth to third foot guards. You men haven't reloaded in time. We may reload at the last minute. Okay, so put up, bring up a horde of infantry. The dervishes are pursuing my cavalry. We have to give them a threat. Ooh, attack the artillery, please. Bring you guys over here as well. Excellent. Go get that 24 pounder foot artillery. Charge my general into the Sea Warriors. They're very good infantry. But we should, with this charge, maybe bring another regiment of foot up here as well. My general may die in this. Because the morale, because they're winning, their morale means they'll stick around for longer than you'd think. Format my general staff, ready for another charge. Pull my chevalier up, let them fire at will. Enemy general's been killed by artillery fire. Charge my general in while they're shaken. That's enough. So all of you except my general. Get back into line. Damn right, we're gonna continue.
all my cavalry is going to focus on the dervishes, my general is going to focus on the Sikhs. My artillery is just plinking at them as they run. Cease fire all the guns. Okay, you men can come over here and help take out the Sikh warriors. The general will definitely do it. There's only one left. And there he is. Nice. Very, very nice. Very efficient victory there. Yeah, nearly 10 to 1. Chevrolet Gerard, I'm surprised he did really well. Colonial line infantry have done well. Artillery. 214 kills. Ugh. See you later, alligator. So here comes more Mughal troops. That's what we want to see. They're moving away from regions in the south to try and fortify their holdings in the north. Ooh, they might transport some more. I mean, on a one-on-one, -on -one, aren't they? Amen. Yes! <laughs> Bring the Carinade Frigate into our service. Uh, opportunities to intercept. Uh, we probably want to say yes to that as well. <laughs> yeah. So, the forces around Nerun are really getting thinned out, which is perfect, and there'll be another another uh, extra extra point where we can cross the cross the river, drive into northern India. I mean, this was lush green forest a minute ago. My God, what happened? This was beautiful. Forest. Forested green, beautiful European lands. Now it's harsh desert. Global warming, see? It's been three months and look what's happened. Okay, I'm still going to do... Still gonna do the whole deploy one gun behind the lines because they've got two artillery teams so at least like this i can i can maintain pressure on them while still slaughtering their infantry uh, put my skirmishes up front to place stakes in my artillery Oh, it says again. Blasting glorious quick line. Although well, it might be round shot if there were no one's in quick line range. I think it's their artillery that's in range. We'll see their artillery or those desert warriors. Either way. Open fire. No, oh, it's their artillery. Just So the gun on the hill. Engage the 24 pounder foot artillery that hasn't been touched. I'm going to preemptively switch my howitzers to quick climb because by the time they've reloaded, stuff will be in range anyway. That was a hit bang on the gun. I still didn't do it. Come back, light infantry. It's all work. How it's is opening up, so someone's in quick climb range. See, the opening volley did the most damage. Okay, let's actually designate targets before everyone shoots at the same thing. Get my skirmishes out on the flank. Ready for the general's bodyguard when they pop over the hill. Still trying to land shots. Oh, look at that! That was bang on the gun. This is hacks. 
shrapnel shot. The infantry coming in. I'll send, I'll send some shove out of jet. Actually, have they got any cavalry at all? The answer to that is no. So my cavalry on a grand and merry expedition around the line. The bowmen have resisted quick line, they've resisted shrapnel shot. Will they resist musketry? I think the answer to that is going to be no. How about you? So they'll be back, so they've only, they haven't lost very many men. So you engage the next level of infantry. Form a square, even though it's pretty useless. It would fly. Okay, let's get my cavalry a bit more make them a bit more urgent excellent there we go so the skirmish fire was enough to see them off fold in the corner of the flank there you go my dragoons are free Go after the artillery. So just open up on them. You've got dervishes sneaking in around the rear. The elephants will probably be back. They've not lost very many men. Sending the desert warriors after my cavalry. This gun team behind the hill, engage the general's bodyguard. Oh, that's a lot of elephants shot down. Sending your infantry in the melee combat is generally a bad idea. You men reload your carbines and try and get another volley into the general's bodyguard. Protect the guns! Cavalry, get into this combat here. You men make sure the guns are killed. Not entirely unexpected. Canister shot. Make sure the gunners die. Chevrolet are going to do what they can. Bring in my general. How it is all fire round shot and engage that unit of desert warriors just in case something goes, something is up. Shattered, shattered. Where's my cavalry? Actually, screw the gunners. May well have just killed a bunch of guys making my cavalry charge through my own line, but whatever. It was imperative we get them in. Form a new line, check the howitzers. Ideally, want my cavalry over here to help me there. General is just slaughtering the enemy. My left flank's still really strong. You guys don't don't start shooting. Let's throw you throw you into the combat. 
protect my cavalry. The enemy are on the run. But they could always be more on the run. Artillery cease fire. Dervishes are winning slightly, they think, but they've not seen the, the reinforcements on the way. How about you? shattered dervishes are about to be shattered come on kill them kill them all excellent so everyone here who isn't cavalry withdraw you pursue them you pursue them Excellent. Yeah, we're going to continue. Uh, kill that last desert warrior. Try go after the general's bodyguard, because why not? How's my general doing? He's doing okay. Kill the last of these dervishes. Nice. Hey guys, everyone on the general, everyone on the general's bodyguard, but it looks like they routed. Victory is ours. However, this force has been badly battered. So close to five to one in this one. Chevrolet up front, and surprisingly, because they've. Uh, been able to chase down a routing enemy. Ooh. Oh. Yes, please. Yes, please, river battle. I think. I hope. But yes, we can definitely intercept. Oh, yes. This entire episode is going to be an end turn phase. This is going to be just one giant end turn phase. And all our armies are going to be too depleted to do anything on our turn. Now, I'm sure some of them will be fine. We will get through this. I really hope it's a river battle. If it is, that's going to be... Ah. Okay. We're going to pick a... I'm not going to fight for the hill. Because that will be very, very dangerous. I've got an army that thrives on using an army that lives on having it and using its firepower so I'd be mad to not use it to deploy fairly regular formation my grenadiers guards and my grenadiers in general are going to be behind the line fire it will off Redeploy, well, deploy the howitzers out wide because we're probably going to need them a bit more intelligently. Group the cavalry. Because I might put my Freikor there. And my horse guards on the flank. General in the centre. And you might be okay back here. I mean, I've intercepted them. I don't want to charge to the hill because that's against a load of I think it's the melee army. That's a bit of a disaster. That's exactly what. How? Oh, if I were the Mughals, I would want them to push for the hill. Then I can swarm and destroy them. I would not want them to sit back here and go. Meh. But it looks like their their artillery is doing some good work i mean we are doing our, we're doing some good work in our own way and it will get a bit better once we unlimit this last gun team to also engage their artillery at range that's interesting they don't 
They don't have a line of sight, neither do the other ones. Oh, it's because they're not actually in range. Let's speed up time because they are. We have intercepted them. So they are the ones that are meant to be attacking us. Hmm. Very curious. Brycor cavalry advance. See if we can lure them into attacking. If not, we might charge the guns. They are picking off our infantry, no doubt about it. And again, we are also picking off their, well, not just their artillery, their camels. Okay, let's run my Freikor up to give them a volley of musketry. Has that done it? Let's engage this unit of artillery. Killed a few gunners, caused some routes. Pull back. Here they come. That's what I wanted. How it says are going to start engaging. Oh, they're engaging General's bodyguard. Not quite had in mind. Still, at least some of our near misses will actually get some good kills. So this artillery, oh, they're engaging the general's bodyguard. Run back to here and about face, because you'll have reloaded your muskets by then. They're going to charge someone, because they're already getting into diamond formation. Get our howitzers to try and pick off these clusters of mounted troops. 12 pounders also engage the camel nomads. So, ideally, if you guys about face, your muskets will be reloaded. You can put a volley into these camel nomads. Don't let them. Probably don't let them get too close. But now I want to. Both my howitzers engage the two men. You men engage random infantry, because we can shatter this camel unit. Because horses run faster than camels. Unless, of course, if enough of them escape, that we can't actually get them. In which case, then, we will withdraw. Quick climb those camels. Don't quick climb that infantry. That's for darn sure. No, the cavalry, rather. You may pierce my formation, but I will surround your formation. So you are now a cluster of lances surrounded by sabre infantry. We may be losing off the bat, but you will lose rapidly in the sub subsequent engagement. Yeah, now you're concerned because you're attacked in the rear, because now my guys completely surround your charging infantry, your charge cavalry. You just put a volley into that general's bodyguard unit. Then get involved. Camel gunners are in. Keep running, you're under fire. There we go, the lancers are 
absolutely surrounded. They've done some good damage to my heavy cavalry, but not enough. Shatter them to make sure they leave the field. There they go. Excellent. Pull the okay, Freikorps cavalry to turn around and engage with musket fire. Charge my heavy cavalry into the lamp, into the camels. Grenadier unit out wide. Maybe two grenadier units out wide. It's going to be a bit of a pain to deploy because they're going to run in front of my army, but whatever. Charge into the enemy reinforcements that are coming in. Howitzer's firing obliquely. Gunners, ignore the uh, the long range fight. You, know, you guys are very much bogged down now. Boy, my grenadier guard on the left. You guys will do a lot of damage before you eventually fall. Freikor cavalry are upset from the fire that's happening. Form up fire at will. Begin slaughtering. The enemy centre is broken. So we can start to split our line up like so. You're definitely going to go down. Okay, howitzers support both of these engagements. Like these wounded cuirassiers may end up trying to go for the enemy guns. Yeah, one of you guys going for this Kizubashi unit would be great. Another one going for. Oh yeah, they're engaging us from the top of the hill. The cavalry will break soon because they are right now they're just holding up the enemy reinforcements. Bad times. Okay, the enemy are going after my cavalry. Quick climb's done well. That's not a fight we really want to be getting into. Artillery cease fire. Grenadier guards open up. Howitzers support this fight on the left. My right flank can hold their own. You're going to go after the enemy guns. Actually, you, okay, you may redeploy. Excellent. Keep on pushing. Yeah, my cavalry's breaking. Push in and get these Kizilbashi Musketeers to break. Then all of you will fall back and form a new defensive line. Form a new line, a former line here. All howitzer fire engage where the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from. Now, my heavy cavalry will engage the camel nomads.
human form up here. And fire human, push up to this gap and engage. The anyway, center's getting blown to pieces. The Freikorps cavalry is weak. And push and form a new line. Okay, you men can do the same. You guys hop into square quickly. You men hit the dervishes due to lack of options. Excellent. So then you men can push up. And threaten the 30th. How goes the camels? The camels are down. Bring my heavies back. You want to get charged? Okay, form square. Guardsmen. You're getting sucked into engaging these native lancers. But that's not a massive problem. Form square, more cavalry coming in. I mean, they're skirmishing, but they're definitely charging. Okay, maybe they are. In which case, then, you men push up. There's not many reinforcements coming in, so largely I think we're okay. Got a knockout of the 30th Kizilbashi, but you know, they're redeploying in the middle of the crossfire. Switch the howitzers to round shot, engage. There's a swordsman coming in. You men push down the hill. You men surround this elephant man. Push in on the remaining troops that are on the field on the left. The two fang are trying to escape. Howitzers and all guns cease fire. Everyone else charge. That's right, man. It's one elephant. One elephant. You should be able to get one, except for those guys. I mean, they're, they're very poor, but they're still alive. You get the two fangy and these lemon swordsmen. Not able to hold. The Grenadier Guard in there. No! Howitzers hit 30th with quick climb. Excellent. So you men are going to form up, don't fire, just reload your guns, and then you're going to pour a volley into that one elephant. If this regiment of foot does not kill them first. Oh! Quick ones come in, but 30th are being resolute. Okay, let's take this. Oh, it's because they're only engaging one Grenadier unit. They're not actually engaging my line. So you men will get first crack. Oh no, the elephant went down. Yes. Good job, team. So now the 30th are going to be exposed to more than just a grenadier unit. Slaughter them. This is an army that was previously unbloodied, but now has, has had their first experience of what it means to fight the native troops on the continent of India. Yeah, 
I'll tell you who's done for. Yeah. Hey, everyone. They got hidden guys somewhere? I mean, they shouldn't have hidden guys. If they do have hidden troops, they usually expose themselves. Oh. Hindu musketeers idle on the border. They're in square. Okay, let's just watch my volleys tear them to bits. You're lucky there's a red line here, fellas. Nice. Heroic victory. Certainly is heroic. Excellent. So yeah, much narrower kill to death ratio there, but still. All my infantry units are up front. First and foremost. Back you devils! This is why you need multiple, multiple armies pretty much everywhere. Because they will just keep beating you over and over and over and over again. You have no choice. Excellent. Construction reports. Ordnance board in London. Jesuit college in Afghanistan. Let's keep boosting our religious production. Lots of top tier buildings, largely. Yep. Got the trading company, Ordnance Board, and Vilnius. Just keep, keep on cranking it up. Don't really need the money, but I like upgrading things. Sugar warehouse. You and you. Sugar warehouse upgrade to global trading company here. Steam engine factory. The army board in Tunis. And two more global trading companies. Excellent. Right. So. Cast and Cray. You men replenish. But this force is pushing towards Persia. But we've got a little army here. More than enough to deal with them. How about you get back to Persia? Get back to Esfahan, rather. So you men get back towards Nerun. Franz Lauter push up to Nerun as well. You men push to Nerun also. Spitz Ray. Just a raid Calicut. We've got a large fleet there, but we have a larger fleet here. And a Mathaus Frey. I'm just going to auto that. They're really knackered. We don't need the ships. Just oof. One ship. And then who are you? Bunch of damage and depleted fifths. So let's continue this engagement. Push up to here. Destroy the navy. Or destroy their navy, I think, largely. Yeah, I don't want any of their ships. I mean, they've got, yeah, they've still got a couple of ships what, knocking about, but certainly not up to the strength they did have. You men get back to Colombo for repairs. Let's get this sixth rate to raid Madras. Prevent their production of any more ships. Excellent. So Carl Strack, make sure you're replenishing. Just Ehreberg is replacing. It's the start of a new colonial army. Which I'm fairly sure can't. I want to say Sepoys can't form square. Okay, so you men are going to recover and replenish. Sigismund is going to take the take control of the crossing. Rudolf Mosler is going to advance. Excellent. And in the north, we've got a lot of 
damaged armies that desperately need replace replenishment. Let's make sure our agents are on their merry way because it looks like lots of them have lost their orders. Uh, you get into Punjab actually. And you get into a made of bad. Reinforcements with native mercenaries continues. So we've got got leave of Weingart. Yeah. You can attack the garrison here at Srinagar. Let's take it. And that will introduce Gurkhas into our force structure, which I do love the Gurkhas. This would be quite a disastrous turn for the Mughal Empire. Their attempts to take the homeland have been rebuffed. And it, by the looks of it, it is not going to get any better for them when it comes to holding their cities. Eventually we need to... We've, we've got one good army that can push on to Lahore to take the brunt of the action. Now we have rain. Artillery engage at range. Form a large infantry line, advance and swallow them up. All my skirmishes and militia on the right. The bulk of the Chevrolet Leger. And then another Chevrolet Leger on the left. General's going to join this one on the left. Maybe let's put my skirmishes not directly on the flank, but keep my general on the move. Let my artillery pick whoever they want to shoot at. The enemy has a large concentration right in the center, so whatever they elect to do, it'll probably be pretty good. Native African infantry is getting mowed down off the bat. Let's give some more precise orders as we get closer to the town. Right, okay, make sure you guys are. Yeah, you are firing them off. I'm trying to make sure they are... They're not going to gun each other down as the cavalry gets close. Because when they're next to each other like that, it's not so bad. So you've put a volley into the horsemen. Fire it off. You may also put a volley in. Engage or fire it will off. This line is somewhat exposed. I keep my general a bit closer to the centre. Still, my native troops put those volleys. They're putting those volleys into the mass of troops. African native infantry, glorious. One of my cavalry units is going to... Actually, maybe both of them storm in and hit the Hindu Musketeers. The Dervish push isn't a massive threat in of itself. The Chevrolet Leger can engage the General's bodyguard. Sucking up the hit points first. There go the dervishes. So you may need to push up around the outside of these buildings. Come on, 
Come Chevrolet, yeah, knock out this Hindu Musketeer is pretty ricky tick. In this large formation of troops in the centre has just really not done any, hasn't really helped them. In fact, it's left there. Artillery exposed from a flanking infantry charge. Chevrolet, yeah, chase down the general's bodyguard. Charge my militia in here as well. This unit's going to be fire it will off. There we go. Desert warriors engaging the Hindu musketeers. Redirect the artillery fire just to slam into the center of their position. Push up to here. There go the enemy elephants. So let's pull the cavalry unit back. I want to get one up on the hill. Engaging the enemy with musket fire. Carbine fire. You men blast the... Oh no, don't blast them. Charge them down. I mean, this is just carnage. So you men form a new... anchor here. Yeah, they're just... Just got nowhere to run. Cut off their line of retreat. But apart from that, I think it's pretty decisive. Would ordinarily recommend chasing them down, but through the town here, they're going to spread out really far. They're going to spread out. Pathfinding is going to be a nightmare. They're all dead anyway because we've taken the city. Chase down the gunners. Obviously the dervishes have come back. So you men about face. I mean these Chevrolet units should be really racking up some experience here. So this is where I kind of want just to dump them on the route through which men will retreat. But Chevrolet will just get kills by default anyway. Charge my dervish my my militia in to attack the enemy dervishes. Oh, there they go. Yeah, that's pretty pretty conclusive. <laughs> Streaming back through the city. Excellent. So that was so slick. Let's rebuild the palace, replenish the troops, destroy the madrasa, and we'll replace it with a religious building. Let's get our spy. I mean, not really, not many places we can't actually see. Get them into Satara, why not? You can see they are bringing out more troops to support the northern front. So what hap what this means? So they've got a full garrison, and they've also got this guy who's kind of stuck in the middle. So what happens is when you take the city, this guy will pop outside the city. So they're like, it's not not quite a double garrison. They don't get involved until you take Lahore. Um, but it's just important to bear in mind. So many, oh, so many bonuses, agents detected, successful missions, recruitment report. Got to remember because we are still recruiting more troops to sail over to the Americas. We have taken Reykjavik, but it's not enough. So you need to be hit by someone, but you, you're going to take some time to get over here.
I'm going to recruit some sepoys here at Katak to garrison while we push on forwards. I'm fairly sure we can probably move Mr. Talbot out of Calcutta. We can. So he's going to go up into the mountains ready to see in case Mr. Khan tries to go east. In which case you men sit inside the city. Cool. So that's a potential fight. We've got lots of potential fights up here. So if I take Mr. Leitner, who's in good condition and hit Daud Pani, although I want now I want a, a quick climb army to engage, really. You men are all gonna replenish. You need you need howitzers, really. You're almost in good condition. Uh, hmm. How long would it take to get howitzers up here? Seven turns. Yeah, that's gonna take. It's <laughs> gonna take a while. So I think no, I'll let you guys form up. Actually, let's just hit enter and let everything tick on a bit. Patna, destroy the university. Let's let everything tick on a bit and see what goes on. Uh, you, you no longer need your infantry. You no longer need your artillery either. They're going to push us out of their ports, I would guess. See, it's, oh, there's so many stacks that are heading north. That means that the south is going to be ripe for the picking. Okay, so they've pulled back from Nerun. That's kind of ideal. They've pulled back south of the river, which means we can cover it and engage in river battles. And you've got a clear run on some of their city to the south because we've got we own the ports. Rebels! Rebels! Indian rebels! Oh, so that's part of the reason why they're panicking. It's because their capital city is rebelling. Yep, and they've rebelled a lot. It's not just this one army, there's a few. Oh, they've stopped us destroying our religious building. Curses. See, look, there's lots of smaller stacks of Republican rebels that have spawned. Republican? Maybe Republican? I don't know. Let's find out. Question is, will they combine into one massive army and attack the city? Or will they just get picked off one at a time? Either way, though, the fact they're rebelling is pretty good. Yeah, you can raid if you like. I need to send an army south to cover the bridge. You, are you going to pick up an army? I know you're going to try and engage my leftovers. You've got a heavy burst and a second rate. You'll be fine. Let's see how you work out what's the best way to fix your predicament. <laughs> you gotta wonder if they're they're gathering armies near all their uh, major cities. You gotta wonder how many of them are rebelling as well, or want to rebel. Rebels are dying before the walls of Akbarabad, but it's drawing up enemy resources and effort to try and stop the rebellion. It's not bad at all. Ah, sabotage, eh? Well, let's get that repaired. <laughs> Faith reaffirmed. This guy loves converting Indians. This guy hates converting Indians. Yep, yeah, you can raid as much as you like. Fleet destroyed, port blockaded. So, Mr. 
deploy my death stack army. Smash. Oh, we actually lost some ships there. If only we had a military port nearby. Let's get you guys in. Whoop. Keep on recruiting your sick rates because every time they raid, every time they destroy fleet, I want to keep just dropping another ship into their port. So it's, this is the bad boy that's going to be just churning out their actual fleets. So you're going to don't raid the naval hospital because that will cause issues. So you men are going to run here. That's Naroon. Naroon will be taken. You men can hold the crossing here. You men will actually combine here to hold this crossing to prevent these guys from trying to do anything sneaky. Naroon front reinforcements are on the way. So... I want to square up against Naroon. So you can see all the, the militia units they're generating aren't actually you know, a bit inconsequential, but the quality of them are not too bad. So you're recruiting two native troops. Let's get another company unit. Good. And then... Start recruiting more. So you men head south. Head off these fellows. Make sure the droid dock is repaired, because then we can start churning out ships in theatre. Raphael Hartman. Let's begin to push these armies out into the Indian countryside. You need to hit him. Jazwant Bora. Actually, let's make sure the. Okay, I'm, I am going to end the episode imminently on a battle, so I'm going to make sure I get the. Oh, yeah, you guys. Uh, where to put you? I don't think we need you in India. Let's send you to the Americas. So. Right. Let's keep it. let's get a bunch of building done because, like I said, I'm going to end the episode on a battle because looking at the time we have overran. So let's get this let's get this admin stuff done because this is the kind of thing that disappears um, once. If I end the episode, if I save the game and come back into it, I don't have my building track anymore. Excellent. It's another army. Join the push in North America. So you're going to land here. Get ready to push this 13 colony force up against the coast and then destroy them. Keep the ship, ships in St. John's until we develop our ports because you're going to hit them, you're going to hit them. Push down, hit Falmouth, Quebec, the whole nine yards. Iron Masters works in Salamanca. Commercial Basin. Top tier buildings generally across the board, except for Tunis. Awesome. So this feat under Guido, Guido Bloom. One of you can garrison Malta. You can join the war in India. Shut down their, help us shut down their coastlines. Let's upgrade you. Let's get all these ships. Over here, get all the, get this fleet here in Jerusalem. 
They may go to the Americas. And all of these galleys. I'm going to leave them in the middle of the ocean so I don't forget. But they're going to go over to India to help maintain our, our blockade. Strictly speaking, we don't really need any of these ships guarding ports anymore. Because we, we, we control the entire Mediterranean coast. And we've got a big fleet sat here in Gibraltar. So, theoretically, we can we could just get rid of them, but I'm going to keep them anyway. More reinforcements. Yeah, a lot of battles to fight. We've got 800,000 gold. So I think next turn it's going to be another series of engagements. So I think let's kick off with... Probably this one here at Naroon. Let's get the city taken. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for yet another full hour of battle and destruction and doom. See you, everyone.